With how matchmaking works these days, there's not really any way of understanding whether you really are good or bad at Apex Legends. At this point, I'm not even sure whether you can trust any kill to death ratios or even any badges in the first place. So I figured that I would give you 45 surefire tells that somebody actually sucks at the game. Let's dive into it. A very common mark of a bad player has to be not using your legend's abilities either to the fullest or honestly not at all. Sure some abilities do take some time to learn and learning how to get the most out of them and how to use them in an optimal way but at the same time lifeline just rest your damn teammate already. LIFELINE! A bad player also very commonly uses their heals through painstakingly going through the wheel, even if the heal already is hovered or selected. Or even worse, by clicking on it through the inventory screen. Another tell would be if they ever use default skins for their weapons or their legends, or even worse, they use pay to lose skins instead of a default or pay to win skin. At the same time, some default skins are worse than others if you do see a lifeline or a pathfinder with a completely default skin, odds are you're dealing with a noob. Bad players will exclusively run with their gun out, both when rotating and during fights when they really don't have to, which leads to them missing vital moments during the same fights. They also infamously never split off the jump master and instead just stick to them the entire time and then end up hogging all of the loot once they land. To most experienced players, the first and most obvious tell will always be their movement. Lesser skilled or lesser experienced players have a slow, almost clunky pace to the way they maneuver around the map, sometimes bumping into things, not looking around as much as they should, and moving in a straight line. And the inexperience is very noticed within seconds of a better player spectating them. They use single fire on any weapon. Yep, that includes the hemlock. When rotating, a bad player will rarely, if ever, slide jump properly, let alone at all, and usually just keep running in the direction that they want to go, very often without giving any thought to an actual plan. I mean, where do they want to go? How do they want to rotate? Bad players usually just bounce around between the next stimuli until they eventually die. In the same vein, a bad player will very often struggle with their inventory management. They might have too many heals, too much ammo, or maybe even carry around attachments that they might never actually need. So players never even opened their inventory except maybe once or twice a game, leaving it cluttered and full for no reason. The same players also usually rarely open the map, because who needs it, right? I mean, all the info is right in front of you, isn't it? And it goes without saying, bad players will obviously miss a lot of shots. Bad players also don't pay attention to their positioning or how much of themselves is exposed and will very often just run or stand in the open when taking fights, which turns them into very easy targets. To make matters worse, the same players rarely use any movement abilities or even any strafing in fights, which would keep them alive for longer, but they're just stuck in open, standing still and dying for it. These same players also usually heal health heals before armor when they are hurt, no matter the situation. When jumping out of the dropship, a bad player will take a long time to decide where to go, and once they do decide, they either drop way too late or way too early, and end up spending way too long in the air, losing vital seconds they would have needed to get looted up on the ground. It's also common for bad players to waste time doing unnecessary things, oftentimes at the detriment of their teammates. A good example is a teammate who gets hit, takes cover, and immediately starts healing up, all while their teammates are getting pushed and killed. But instead of cancelling their phoenix kit that I just started, the bad player watches the teammate die while waiting for the clock to run down. Bad and inexperienced players are also chronically stuck to taking way too long to loot, lagging behind their team or forcing them to wait for them in the process. A few common reasons for this could be that they don't know the optimal loot routes for the points of interest, they don't know where the loot is in the first place, or they keep looting spots that obviously already have been hit. Bad players also love to waste micro time as well and just keep finding weird ways of doing so. One very common mistake is healing up your red broken armor instead of swapping to a purple when you already know a third party is right around the corner. While it's not guaranteed, it's usually an indicator that somebody isn't confident in their abilities, especially their fighting abilities if they play for a zone, they're holding positions with controller legends in pubs, or even in a lot of levels of ranked. To the higher skilled, generally aggressive teams, seeing a team fully set up is just an invitation for them to push. Bad players are also very likely to be stressed or panicky during fights or intense moments, which you can see with the amount of mistakes racking up or them starting to get shaky aim and missing free shots. In the same vein, bad players are usually really passive. And yes, you can be a passive player that's play smart, but this is passive in a bad way. They don't make openings, they don't take space or positions when they have the chance, and kind of just stand around while letting the rest of the lobby play the game for them, inevitably leading to these bad players dying. Passive players can also mean that they sit around holding positions that don't matter in either ranked or pubs, but it can also include the ones that are just hiding or ratting as a main strategy. 
Being forced to rat once in a while doesn't mean you're a bad player, but if you do find yourself ratting every single game, odds are something is wrong with you. Speaking of which, especially in but not exclusively to ranked, bad players will commonly avoid fighting even those fights that they should have taken, or even fights that they have to take, and instead of taking the chance and risking losing this one fight, they bend over backwards to avoid it and just end up dying on the rotate later on anyways. Bad players also usually have auto sprint turned on, especially on mouse and keyboard, and speaking of which, if they are on mouse and keyboard, they still have abilities or other binds bound to their mouse buttons. They don't have or use the special bindings for heals and batteries, and they haven't bound their scroll wheel for tap strafing or even jumping for b-hops. They also rarely use hip fire when they should. Bad players also commonly don't stick around their teammates, this could be because they're overly aggressive and are two steps away from taking a solo 1v3, dying and flaming their teammates, or because they're overly slow and passive and are lagging behind their team trying to find the next shiny item that someone might have left behind. At the same time, it's also a bad habit to stick around with your teammates too much as you aren't taking a lot of space that you could be. There's going to be a balance. Speaking of balance, something that is very common with the bad players is that they don't pay attention to the meta, including their legend or weapon balance. They instead play what they think is good, but might end up holding themselves back because they're forcing a weapon that actually sucks just because they have convinced themselves that it's somehow better. And speaking of fighting, bad players might just send it right into the enemy and try to do as much damage as possible, valuing maybe getting a kill over simply staying alive. And if they are holding a good position or high ground, odds are, once they get bored, which they will, they will drop straight off of that high ground or good position and push into the first thing that they see. These players are also very likely to drop as far from any other team as possible, landing at the very outskirts of the map if they can, even in pubs, just to avoid having to take any scary fights. Bad players also have a tendency of stressing things that many others deem unnecessary, somehow thinking that they're a detriment to your success. A common example would be forcing your teammates to get on the mic even if they aren't comfortable doing so. It doesn't really do much rather than sour the mood and make you seem unnecessarily sweaty. They also rarely pay attention to replicators or crafting, they lose out on free batteries, shield upgrades when needing, and some attachments that could have been a fight changer down the line. And speaking of shields, they will take fights when their team has only white or maybe blue shields, even after they see that the enemy team clearly has way better shields than them. Picking terrible fights is a very common issue for the bad player because they can't recognize when it's time to pack your bags and leave the fight, either because the enemy team has all of the advantages or just because the fight has taken too long. On the flip side, a bad player will usually keep looting despite not needing any more loot. At one point, you're just wasting precious time hoping that you might find that one item that you're looking for instead of getting it off of an enemy. And speaking of loot, another dead giveaway for a player's skill level is how they loot. The bad player will run up to the item that they want, they might take a few seconds to think, and then shuffle around their inventory or pick up the item, instead of already knowing how much is in their inventory and what item it is that they actually need. In the same vein, after finishing a fight, the bad player will never shield swap, and once they do start looting, they'll stand still on a death box, not knowing what to pick up for maybe half a minute. They also never revive their teammates after a fight is finished, or worse, they might go for a revive that ends up getting the entire team killed. Or even worse, they're the ones who get downed Bless me! and then screams at their teammates to revive them instead of assisting them with the knockdown shield and useful callouts. Another thing that they might be doing instead of helping their teammates is being face first in the nearest death box, usually from a kill that they didn't even get themselves. Bad players generally run long range weapons such as marksman rifles or sniper rifles just to stay as far away from a fight as possible. This usually goes hand in hand with camping a random high ground and running away if a team gets too close. They might not know how to shoot down a golden loot drone or how to get the best timing on the Marvin. They're also unlikely to pay attention to what their teammates need loot-wise. Sure, you shouldn't be expected to know what barrel stabilizer your teammates have, but their shield level is right there. Also, for whatever reason, they will crouch to control recoil. And of course, once they do get down, because they will get downed, they never use the knockdown shield to stay alive, and if they do use the knockdown shield, they just end up blocking their teammates shots instead. And those were the 45 things. If you want to share other common things that bad players do, let me know in the comments. If some of these resonated with you and you want to get better at Apex, you should definitely check out the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.